All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to do this super low key because these are going to be the questions that all the marketing agencies don't want to be asked when they're trying to sell you a website. So the first question you're going to want to ask them is, do I own my website domain? You know, assuming you have this domain for a year or two years, you're doing SEO, all these activities are going to be associated back to that domain. So you're going to want to make sure that you own that domain. In the event that you don't, here's how it typically unfolds. The marketing company, as a gesture of good faith, is going to buy a domain for you. They're going to build your website. Fantastic. They don't tell you that they actually own it. This becomes problematic if you try to divest from that marketing agency um, to where they kind of hold the, the domain hostage over your head. So don't find yourself in that trap. Make sure that you understand that you own the domain before you get started. That leads me to my next point. Number two, make sure that you own the website. Now, here's the thing. There's a lot of different business models out there that marketing agencies follow. One of which is leasing you a website. This isn't the worst thing in the world, especially for a younger company. It's a much smaller investment down. It's very minimal as far as the investment monthly to keep the website going. But a lot of times the, the salesperson, they don't tell you that you don't own the website. So make sure that you're fully understanding whether or not you own the website. And then that way you can make a decision as to if it makes sense and meets your needs and you want to do business with that individual. Next thing would be how many pages are included in my website? So if somebody gives you a price on a website and there's three pages versus 10 pages versus 40 pages, that's a big disparity in the scope of work and that should be considered when making a decision. No different as if you're doing you know, a roof that's five squares versus 20 squares versus 50 squares, 100 squares. Big disparity there. So make sure you understand how many pages are gonna be built out with the website. Uh, you want to 100% be certain when you're determining if there's value in, in doing business with this partner. Do I have to supply the content? Are you supplying the content? Are you just copy and pasting the content from my old website? Um, you know, Content is super important. There's been recent updates, several of which have been geared towards helpful content as it relates to Google. What are they determining as far as the content that's on your site being published? And how helpful is that content to the people that you're trying to connect with on search? So having that understanding is super, super important. Make sure you understand what content's included and what you're gonna have to pay for. Nobody likes to break up, messy breakups suck. And if you're divesting from a marketing agency, that's no exception. So ideally, you'll never have to have this conversation, but if you find yourself in the position that you have to break up with your marketing company, you wanna understand what does that look like? And you don't want to find that out on the fly. You don't want to find that out as you're trying to, to send that breakup text. You want to know that from day one. So you can own your website and they can make it a nightmare to actually get your website. They can send you a file folder that, that's filled with documents or for files that you have to kind of piece together like a puzzle. And it's an absolute shit show, for lack of better terms. Um, or there's much more simple and, and easy, seamless ways to transfer the ownership of your website. So you wanna have an understanding of what that looks like. Again, worst case scenario. The last thing I wanna point out is if you're investing in a website and you know, whether it's $100 or whether it's $10,000, like understand what the experience has been of those past customers. So ask them for examples of their work. Speak to their customers, right? If you were building a house and you're investing into a home, your forever home, you would probably want to see past work of this individual to understand that they can actually build a home, they can coordinate the project, and they can bring it to life exactly how you want to. When you're investing into digital real estate like your website, that's an asset, and it should be an asset of yours for a long time to come. That's going to help you generate opportunities to grow your business. It should be no different. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have anyone that's you know, considering building a website, be sure to share this with them as well to avoid that potential catastrophe that so many of us have found ourselves in when dealing with building a website with a marketing agency. We appreciate your time and look forward to talking again soon.